wooden series or salted. and bring her forward, please. Thank you. Now, Angela and Lynn, the two of you have had separate paths that led you to this very moment. And that's what later on the unity candle will represent. The two individual lives becoming one now through marriage. And if there's a few things that I hope would carry along its way with the two of you, it would be that for the both of you to be always willing from the heart to listen, learn, and to love. And by that I mean to simply listen to one another, what it is that they have to offer and what makes them feel whole and part of this relationship. Because after all, they just may be the voice of reason. And secondly, would be the ability to learn. Learn whatever it takes to help the other individual Fulfill every desire, every wish, every dream and goal that they may have. And lastly, but most importantly, the ability to love. To love unconditionally, which means no strings attached. This is an ongoing love. And this is the type of love that I would hope the two of you would wish to express to one another each and every day. Keeping in mind, Lynn, that Angela's happiness would always be more important than your own. And the same for you, Angela, that Lynn's happiness will be far more important than yours. And with that in your minds and in your hearts, I'm sure your lives together will be everything that you want it to be. So with that said, Lynn, I'll ask you first, with your presence here today, alongside Angela, do you take her as your wife in promising to love, honor, cherish and respecting her always, allowing nothing or no one to come between the both of you. Do you take her as your wife? I do. Thank you, sir. And Angela, I'll ask you the same. With your presence here today, alongside Lynn, do you take him as your husband in promising to love, honor, cherish, and respecting him always, allowing nothing or no one to come between the both of you. Do you take him as your husband? I do. Okay. If I could have your bouquet, please. And if you guys could turn and face each other and hold each other's hands. Now, as you look into each other's eyes, you will see the very reason why you are here today, proving that at this moment, there is no one more important than who stands before you. So Lynn, looking into her eyes, I'll have you repeat your vows. I, Lynn, take you, Angela. I, Lynn, take you, Angela. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will be there for you. I will be there for you. Through good times and bad times. Through good times and bad times. Whether we are rich or poor. Whether we are rich or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you, sir. Now, Angela, looking into Lynn's eyes, I'll have you repeat your vows. I, Angela, take you, Lynn. I, Angela, take you, Lynn. To be my husband. I will stand beside you. I will stand beside you. Through success or misfortune. Through success or misfortune. Through the joys and sorrows of life. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. Thank you. And at this time, may I have the rings, please? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 
Now these rings will seal this commitment. And they're not only tokens, but symbols of the very love and devotion that the two of you are expressing here today. And my hope is that in each and every day, wearing these wings, may it constantly remind you of that promise and pledge. And in time, these rings may lose beauty, but I hope that the two of you would value and take honor in wearing these rings for what they truly represent. And through your friends and family, the beauty will shine through you both. And the two of you will be a wonderful example for all. So Lynn, I ask that you take her ring, and if you could place it upon her ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. And I feel so honored. And I feel so honored to call you my wife. To call you my wife. Thank you, sir. If you could place that upon his ring finger, and if you could please repeat, with this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving wife. And I feel so honored to call you my husband. Thank you. And at this time, if I could have you step over to the Unity Canon. And as I mentioned earlier, the two of you have had separate paths that led you to this very moment. And your individual tapers represent your individual lives. And in lighting the center candle, you'll be not only uniting your individual lives, but that of your families as well. So ask if you could take a hold of your individual taper and light the center candle at the same time. Also symbolizing the two of you will be now creating a new journey with new memories. And after it's good, if I can have you both. Perfect. Thank you. And I'll invite you back to the front of the podium. Angel. Now, Lynn and Angela, if you love somebody, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always stand beside them. You will always love and trust them. And you will stand your ground in defending them no matter what. Now, this is saying that I'd like to leave with the two of you. And it simply says, don't walk in front of me. I may not follow. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead. But walk beside me as a friend. Because after all, throughout your journey in marriage, that's what the two of you will be now creating, is a deeper, richer, stronger friendship built upon the foundation of your wonderful relationship that you already have. And I also hope that the two of you would not only love each other for who they are, but for what they are helping to make of you. So the 11th of October, a day that will now mark your anniversary, it certainly has been a joy to be part of the celebration. And with the power vested in me by the state of Nevada, it is my honor and my privilege to now be able to pronounce you as husband and wife. Lynn, you may now kiss your wife, sir. Have you turned? I'd like to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Pascal, the newlyweds.